Hey everybody. <clears throat> As you can see, the garden is still in full swing and there are a few things that I need to attend to. My ginger, I didn't take out of the garden and the cold weather has gotten to it, but it's not dead, just the tops. If I leave it and mulch it in really good this fall, it'll come back in the spring. But if you're anything like me, you've been eating from the garden, right? And when you eat from the garden, you end up with spaces left where you took food out. I have spaces in several of my pots where I've been harvesting brassicas. So I ordered a few things online to make sure that I continually keep growing. And if you are in the area where you can continue to plant, continue to plant. Fill those spaces with food. That way when the hunger gap comes, you'll still have some food left to eat. So today I'm going to be planting some onion sets as well as some garlic that I picked up. I ordered some garlic, just a, a few bulbs, not a lot. And I'm gonna show you guys or talk you through what I picked up. I already had planted some onions from seed, but I wanna make sure that I have succession planted and that if anything happens that I may not be fully aware of, I still get a harvest. So I have some Ebenezer white onion, just a couple. I have some yellow rock onion, just a couple. I picked up some Italian late garlic. I picked up some early purple Italian garlic. I picked up another yellow rock onion. I picked up another white Ebenezer onion. I have here, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me see. I'm probably gonna mess that up big time. Inchulum red garlic, not too bad. And they also gave me a Greek basil seed starter. So that's something that I'll be growing in the spring. And if you're curious as to where I picked up these items, I picked them up from, can you guys see that? Seed now. And I will put a link in the description box below where you all can go and take part in purchasing some seeds from Seed Now. And I will give you guys a coupon code. So I'm gonna get in here and start planting where I can. I already have some store-bought garlic in this pot. I talked to you guys earlier to let you know what I, what I have growing in here. What I'm moving is some red, take that leaf off put it in my goop juice because it looks ugly this is a purple uh, kohlrabi that is leaning his life is unhappy apparently because he is leaning hard and in between the kohlrabi I have bunching onions as well as garlic but I have some open spaces so I'm gonna get in here and start planting All the onions have been planted. Now it's time to find some space for my three varieties of garlic. I just realized for my new gardeners that watch my channel, my brand new gardeners, you all might not be aware of how to actually plant an onion set or a garlic clove. Well, I've already planted the onions, so I, I can't go back and show you what that's like, but I can talk you through it. If you look at an onion, if you've ever bought an onion, you have a top where something will sprout out of it, and you have a bottom where the roots come out. That root part goes down into the soil, and the top part where you see they cut the tops off of the onion, that goes up. And on garlic, I'm sure you all have seen garlic before, same thing. The root part, that part right there, goes down. The pointy bit goes up. 
that's how you plant your garlic and your onion sets. So let me get back in here and finish planting these up because I am going to lose light like I always do. And I don't want to be out in the garden when it gets dark. So let's get back at this point. Now, I know you guys can't see me. I've planted all I'm going to plant in that big pot over there. But I wanted to show you this one. Now, I'm probably going to have to pick this up so that you guys can get a good look at it. But I've got some tiny little bitty onions popping up. Those tiny little bitty green shoots. Those are onions. And then right here is bunching onions. So I do have onions coming up in the garden. And there's more in here that you guys can't see. They're right here. These are tiny little bitty onions. I'm probably going to have to thin this out. Or if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm probably not going to do that I'm probably just gonna let it ride and, and let them fight it out but we'll see how it goes in the springtime all right I have a little bit more garlic left to do and then we're done for the evening so let's go finish off this garlic how y'all like these crazy views I'm doing today it's pretty weird isn't it sorry guys I have a pot over here by the side yard sorry the camera is a little askew a little bit you guys but I'm going to move you all in a few minutes because I plan on dipping you down so that you all can see the inside of the pot I just moved this pot from off of the table squirrel left me a little pecan shell mm. and I'm going to place these garlics in this pot so I'm going to dip you guys down so you won't be askewed for too much longer so let's take a look and get this pot potted up <music> 